Shorty, that was after they tased the out of him like that. Man, I've been recording. I've been recording it. I've been recording it. What car they come out of, yo? He on a bike, yo, right there. Him right there. He on a bike. I got it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, yo. Get his badge, man. After they did Joe like that, you wonder why he can't use his legs. Yeah, I sure will. I sure will. Is it because I'm black? Baltimore is burning after a day of loot. Rioters clashing violently with police. Tonight, a community center in flames lights up the city as police and community activists try and take back the streets. In my neighborhood. Lost to chaos earlier today. Rioters armed with gas masks, appearing ready for a fight. The police force under siege, at least 15 officers injured. The mayor taking to the streets tonight to condemn those responsible. Baltimore is much better uh, than uh, what you're seeing today. But as the fires continue to burn, people here left asking if the police have done enough and whether this violence is really about the death of 25 year old Freddie Gray. The numbers on the street tonight are telling of the deep and long documented tensions between the Baltimore public and police. You're at the forefront of this cause. And as young people, our time is now. Baltimore's Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake finally could tell people that the wheels of justice were turning. There will be justice for Mr. Gray. There will be justice for his family, and there will be justice for the people of Baltimore. Thank you. Mayor, Mayor, Mayor. Quote, in February, you assured us there was a comprehensive plan in place. But at this point, I do not believe anyone, including you, believes it is working. Hogan is now demanding an accounting of how the city is spending state funds on public safety and a progress report since the two met to discuss crime strategy back in February. In response, Mayor Scott says he's confused by the governor's letter and is urging him to visit Baltimore so Hogan can see firsthand the city's efforts to prevent violence daily and build a safer community. Scott released a public statement late last night saying in part, quote, each and every day I work to prevent the loss of life in Baltimore City. The governor knows how to help, but he refuses to do so. If the governor wants a briefing, I'll brief him. The hands of everybody is safe. Victory is mine. Hundreds of people came together for a prayer vigil at Southern Baptist Church to honor the life of 69-year-old Evelyn Player. The devil hit us where it hurt. He hit one of ours. He hit an elderly woman, a faithful child of God. Evelyn Player is her name, a faithful servant of God. But she still got the victory because she's walking around God's heaven. Family and friends joined by city leaders mourning the loss of player who was a beloved member and employee of the church. We begin with breaking news from East Baltimore. A woman has been found dead inside a church. Around 720 this morning, police responded to a church in the 1700 block of North Chester Street. Miss Evelyn was our sister. Yes. This is our church. This is our home and someone came in and violated our home. In the process of violating our home, they took the mother of this church. Baltimore police say player was found stabbed to death inside of the church early Tuesday morning. Her daughter, Alethea Finch, says she was there to let contractors in who were renovating the building. So far, no arrests have been made in the case, but Baltimore police have identified a person of interest. Behind each number, a story, including 13-year-old Malaya Turner's. In November, she was shot and killed at the Lillian S. Jones Rec Center in West Baltimore. And again, the big story we are following tonight, Officer Kiona Holly fighting for her life. The mother, sister, and friend ambushed in South Baltimore while picking up some extra hours on the job just days before Christmas. And now police still working to find whoever pulled that trigger. The shooter walked up behind her patrol car in Curtis Bay and opened fire, striking Officer Holly twice and leaving her on life support.
You have an officer down? Is the officer hit? Welcome to Baltimore. No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! Vigils and police lights everywhere in Baltimore this year. In 2021, Baltimore police say there were 337 homicides. 